Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So jumping straight to the video, I just clarified my hair with the Chris and Ness Clarifying Shampoo. And now I'm putting my hair into four sections to go in with the Olaplex number three treatment. Um, and I like to let this sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then I rinse that out. So after I rinsed out the Olaplex treatment, I used the Redken All Soft Mega Curls Shampoo. This is a solid hydrating shampoo. I followed it up with the Redken Deep Conditioning Treatment. Again, another solid product that I will be keeping in my routine. Um, these are new products for me, though they are cult favorites and classics. But I do feel like my hair was moisturized. It was easy to detangle, so... That's what I need in my current routine, and it worked for me. I did go ahead and sit under the dryer for about 15 minutes to allow the products to better penetrate. So after rinsing out the treatment, I used the Pyrology Color Fanatic Leave-In Conditioner. This is an all-in-one type of leave-in. It does provide thermal protection, but for me, I use it mainly to make sure my hair is hydrated before we go in with all of this heat styling. So after that, I follow it up with the Chi 44 Iron Guard, and this is my main heat protecting product. I'm not the biggest fan of it, I think mainly because of the alcohol in it. But I've been having it for a while, so I'm just trying to use it up and get rid of it. I figure it should work well in combination with the other products. So, yeah. And as you can see, I did use the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum, and this is to help with the frizz. And I went in with my detangling brush to ensure that my hair is fully saturated.
so I applied a bit more of the Paul Mitchell serum. There was a bit of static to my hair. I'm not sure why. I never really experienced that. But as far as flat ironing my hair, this time I had the temperature set to 370. And I usually do just one pass. I'll hit the roots about two times just because there is more texture there. But one pass usually is all that I need. This is the Kimra Anti-Humidity Spray and then I also use the Kristen S Holding Spray, it's a very light hold and it smells good. So this is what my hair looked like after I took the pink curls out. Y'all, I walked my dog for like 20 minutes and my hair was already frizzing up. So I did straighten a few pieces in the front and so this was the result of that. And this is my hair the following day after I've been outside for quite a bit. Um, my hair definitely was poofy. It frizzed up, especially in the back. Y'all, the roots, they had already start re started reverting. So I went in with a bit more of that spray just to see if it would do anything. It, it really didn't. So yeah, I will be trying more products because I like when my hair straight. 